We have a lot of really good small pistols available for concealed carry these days. But unfortunately, Rob, I think some people are not carrying them the best way. Now, at, at IC Training, you teach people how to do this. We do, and we give people recommendations. You know, a big part of what we do isn't just say, hey, whatever you carry, however you carry it, will make you better. We also try to make you better by thinking about what you carry get, and how you carry Get the right gear. Absolutely, and use it properly. You know, a lot of people like the small guns, I get it. But now, we have so many great subcompact firearms that come in, in good calibers, good sized guns yeah. like these. I mean, we're talking, you know, nice small guns in, in nine, even 40. And even 45. And, right, and, and that's some true. Of them. So the idea is get away from the pocket holster, get away from the ankle holster, carry on your waistband with something like the Crossbreed Mini Tuck, which gives you all the advantages of their great Super Tuck holster, but in a package that's appropriately sized for the mini guns. Okay, now this clearly is tuckable. It's the same system. It's just a little bit smaller, a little bit less leather. I like the fact that this has the combat cut built in. It so really, you, can, yeah. you can get your hand around it. You can get a good grip on it and you can actually do the correct kind of draw. You can, and that's what we talk about, is we talk about lateral movement. We want people actually moving while they're deploying the gun, because standing still when you can't be shooting to defend yourself, not the way to yeah, go. If you're in a gunfight, you need to be moving. Absolutely, right. and this is, gives us that real concealable gun, real capable gun, and a really fast and easy presentation that still works while you're moving. So you get a good grip on it before the gun comes out. And that's the trick. You know, if somebody's going down into a pocket or even the cargo pocket, much less inside of a bag or their ankle, right. it's really hard to present efficiently. And that's what the E stands for. We need to be efficient. That's right. So it's called the mini tuck. It is tuckable, which is one of the keys here is you can wear it. It's comfortable on your belt, but you start you slide a belt, uh, your shirt in. That's right. And now it doesn't, uh, clearly it doesn't look like you're wearing a gun. And just a little bit of blouse of the shirt. Right. We get we'll it in there. We'll conceal it. There you go. Pull that back out. It just disappears. And it's gone. And it's no. there when we need it. It, it, that's really the key. It's there when you need it, and you can put it into play if you need it. And because of this wider area, it's comfortable to carry. It really is. And of course, that's that's the key to Crossbreed, is they make a great holster that holds the gun securely, but it's comfortable to wear. People see this big holster, they think, little gun, why don't I want such a big holster? Right. It, it doesn't feel like you're wearing a big holster. Right. It may not be intuitive, but when you try it on, you get it. Yeah, and that's one of the unique aspects of Crossbreed holsters. There is no doubt that carrying a subcompact mini firearm is a great way to carry comfortably and still be prepared to deal with a worst case scenario. But the days of only having the option of extremely small firearms in a pocket holster are long gone. Today, we have much better options when it comes to subcompact defensive guns and great options when it comes to carry in a much more traditional way, like the Crossbreed Mini Tuck holster. Now, the reason we want a traditional style carry, even with a subcompact firearm, is that way we can get a smooth and efficient presentation. At ICE Training Company, we teach people to move laterally while they're presenting the firearm. The advantage here should be obvious. If you're the bad guy and you're coming towards me or pointed at me with a firearm, I realize I'm under attack. I want to be able to move out of the way as I present my firearm. I can do that smoothly from the mini tuck, but if I were digging into my pocket and trying to get a small firearm out of a subcompact pocket holster, my problem here is that I might foul the draw and I may not be able to move smoothly. We want to integrate lateral movement into our presentation whenever we can. The mini tuck allows us to do that. Be sure that you practice with your defensive firearm regardless of how you decide to carry it.